morning team. I'm out of the house, though I am not feeling good. Nath can't come home and help me today, so I need to get out and distract and not sit at home and wallow in a puddle of my own snot and self-pity. I'm definitely sick, it's definitely a cold. My son is bright green, sorry for the overshare. But that is not a symptom of carb flu. That is just general illness. Earlier, I was walking and I noticed something in my hair and it was a little spider. And now I feel like I have little spiders all over me, creeping me out and I don't like it. How you going, Luna? Good? We're just popping into Walgreens. I need to buy some like diapers and stuff. I might get some groceries, but it's gonna be a very, very relaxed day. On the plus side, the aches have gone, which is why I'm able to be out and about. Yesterday I had like full body aches and that just made stuff like so hard. So though I don't feel good today, I, my body doesn't hurt. So at least I can move around. Uh-oh. what do you see? See! Who is that? Mickey Mouse. Who is it? Moana. So if you guys saw the video I did with Luna, series eight of the Simpson I don't know what called. Simpson Mystery Pack have Moana and Maui in them. And there's one left at the store, so we've got it. Fingers crossed. Hopefully that has Moana or Maui in it, huh? Don't open it yet. Don't open it. Oh, I don't feel good. Not even a little bit. I feel super, super nauseous. I'm like real lightheaded. Where's the ones we got last time, Mama? Just my luck, they don't have um, the nighttime diapers we need. Literally the only reason I came here. And they don't. So it's heading to the park for a quick play before we go home. Um, I'm hoping to, well, I bought milk so. I've got as long as I feel the milk has to not get warm, but it's like 20 degrees, so it's not super hot out. So we're gonna park for play. I'll probably have Luna lunch there. Again, I'm just like drawing everything out as much as possible so we don't have to hang out at home. And so this area to my right is like a big open field next to one of the parks we go to. And there's like a bunch of, sorry to breath, a bunch of buses. I guess from like the local Hasidic community here from the school. Literally every child is a girl. There are no boys. Hundreds and hundreds of little girls playing at the park. I guess they don't go to school together? So see behind me there's a bunch lining up next to the buses. They bought their own snow cone machine. So all the kids are eating snow cones. Maybe it's like some end of school something. I don't know but it seems like they're having Lots of fun. I spent five dollars on this. It better be good. And by good, I don't expect it to taste good. It's orange, lemon, ginger, cayenne. I expect it to be good for you know illness. Oh god! Oh my gosh! Oh, that burns. I went get with the cayenne. Oh my god! My mouth is on fire. That is unpleasant. I just paid five dollars to be punched in the face. Okay, should we open it? If this isn't Moana or Maui, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Also, yes, I know these are for children older than Luna. I take away all the really tiny parts and she only plays with these super vibes. All right, who is it? Who is it? Oh, it's Kermit the Frog. Dumb. I saw the green and I was so hopeful. No luck today, no Moana. We got a Kermit the Frog. All right, you want to watch something before your nap? What do you want to watch? Whoopa. Pardon? Whoopa. Moana?
some of the simplest jobs a total chaos with a toddler around. Just gonna quickly put the laundry away. Ha 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 ha. What are we gonna have? Oh, that's my dirty tissue on the table. Yeah, gonna have an orange. Right? <laughs> Luna keeps grabbing lemons out of the fruit bowl. Well, I know what she really means is an orange. <laughs> Hey Luna, did you have a good day? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Luna, tell Daddy what you ate for lunch. What'd you have for lunch? <laughs> what did you have? Did you have some sushi? Yeah. Can you say sushi? <laughs> sushi. Sushi. <laughs> I was practicing that with her in the bar. <laughs> Because when we got the sushi at the store and went to the park, the whole way back, she was yelling, Shusha! 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 So I was trying to get her to tell oh, Nate oh, what she did today. Oh, I stepped it! <laughs> we like to have a nice quiet time before bedtime. Nothing too, nothing too strenuous and exciting. <laughs> you know? I bet our neighbours yeah. love us at this time yeah. of day. Everyone's just so happy to see Nate. <laughs> oh, I feel like we should give you guys an update every day on this whole Soylent thing. I've had two today, which is pretty standard. I'm having three a day. Fee's only had one so far, but she had a little bit of the baby's lunch. Do you want me here? Yeah, why not? Hang out. I pooped this morning, day four. That's real weird. I just thought it was interesting that uh, drinking soil and Do you want to talk? My biggest learning from this so far, my biggest takeaway. Mm, takeaways. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Seriously though, is two things. One, I think we've definitely mentioned. Two, I don't know if we have. The first one that we've definitely mentioned is realizing just how much of our life we plan around eating. A hundred percent of it. It hasn't been so, like Monday was really hard because I had most of Monday off. We were like, what are we going to do? Yeah, we would normally. Like, structure our day around places we we're gonna go eat. Yeah, like even if we're gonna go and do something like, oh, let's go explore the East Village. I hear there's a really good cafe there. <laughs> exactly. I reckon it's also, like day to day, it's not that big a deal. I'm busy enough with the baby that I don't notice. You're at work, you don't notice. But not finishing, like uh, having a dinner ties up the day. It's another one of the whole like plenty there and food thing. Is it like getting home from work and then we're like, all right, what are we gonna eat? And either like we're cooking or fee's cooked or we're gonna like get some takeout or I'm gonna jump on the booster board and go pick us up something. And then we like sit down and eat. It's all those sort of things that I'm missing more than the actual food. It's like the punctuation points throughout the day. The ceremony of it maybe, yeah. I don't know. Like I went and met Jez for lunch today and he got a sandwich and I sat next to him on a park bench while he ate a sandwich, but we just hung out. The second thing that, that's one. The second thing though, is that I'm not hungry like I thought I would be. I'm not craving like I thought I would be either. I know that I did eat some food today, but I don't even feel like day one I was. And the amount of food you ate is very small compared to how much we were eating before we started. Like a quarter of a cup. Yeah, it was compared like- Compared to like five candy bars, a burger, some fried chicken, and my own leg. Like Fee bought Luna sushi for lunch and scraped the top off the sushi because she realized it was spicy and just ate the scraped off bit like it wasn't. I, I haven't done the math. I was not eating healthily. Neither of us were eating healthily. Like I think we had- Oh, it was so bad. I think the last like three or four months, we had just like progressively gotten worse and worse in our eating. Like really bad. Wine back six months and we didn't eat sugar at all. We ate unhealthy stuff like fried foods and, and you know, super bad for a savory stuff sometimes. 
but like we had no sweets at all, all whatever. And then progressively over the last like, I'd say three months has like exponentially gotten worse, but six months, you know, we started eating sugar again and then we were eating this and that and all the other bad stuff. So considering like how badly we're eating, I expected like massive withdrawal symptoms, because we went like, got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And then overnight it's like, okay, we're just gonna have this meal replacement drink for an entire week. And like day one was bad. Like day one was hard, but every day since then has been like, I've had a couple of moments where I was like, I love some food right now, but like nothing like I need a candy bar or I need like specific, I, like a, for the I, large part, it, for me at least has been super chill like today i have had two bottles of soylent that's a total of 800 calories which is not nearly enough and to i'm be drinking for kind of getting hungry now like now and so like i'll have my third and then i'll be fine like totally chill and i must i i'm bad at doing like calorie math but i must have been eating 2000 plus calories a day oh. Easily. So going from that to 1200, I mean, maybe it's slightly more because I guess we're still allowing ourselves coffee and tea, but I don't know what that all adds up to. Can't be much because it's just water and a splash of milk. Yeah, I don't reckon I'm, I'm drinking black coffee. Hungry. Uh, I sometimes just miss eating, like, I sometimes just feel like it would be nice to sit down and eat, like, a meal now, but it's at the end of the day. Yeah, like, I just kind of want to chew on a texture. Being like, I'm hungry. I'm not hungry. I just would like, it would be nice to sit down for a meal and not drink a drink. Yeah, like but on- But I'm not, I don't need f food. Chewing on a stick of celery would probably deal with the craving that I have and it's just like chewing on something. Yeah, It's weird. I find it really strange. There must be some, like the ingredient list on those bottles is long. Just like the segment. But I, yeah, just like this segment. But the fact we're gonna have 1200 calories a day and not be insanely hungry or lethargic or any of those things is weird. I think it's that the whole point, I mean, though we should be having more, the whole point of Soylent is that all the, every one of those 1200 calories is providing your body with fuel and none of them are crap. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, like, I mean, it says on the side of the bottle, it says it's 20% of your daily needs. Oh, I couldn't even imagine drinking that many. And we're only having three of them, which means we're having 60% of what they says we need to be having a day. Well, on that note, Fee is watering the garden. It's a delightful evening right now. Fee's watering the garden, Luna's in bed. I'm about to crack my last Soylent for the day. Tomorrow's Friday, which means it's the second last day of Soylenting. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do to break the, um, the Soylent. I think it has to be, you know, semi healthy. Yeah, I, I don't really want to undo the good work that we've done by getting off this stuff. I think at the start of the week, when we, like Monday, when we first started this, we're like, when we finish it, the first thing we're gonna do is get like waffles and pancakes and blah, blah. And now I'm like, maybe I'll have a green smoothie. I mean, I probably won't have a green smoothie, but I might have like eggs on toast or something. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.